right now, uh, we are standing in the midst of a lot of color, a lot of different fruit. Uh, we've got Lori Taylor, the produce mom, joined by Richard Hiltz from Melissa's Produce. Good to have you guys this morning. Thank you. Thank so you. So you're in town for a national produce uh, event that's going on right here in Indianapolis. Yes, yes, where, where are you guys based out of? Uh, basically, Vernon, California. We're based uh, just right off the largest produce terminal in the world out in mm -hmm. California. All right, a and, blocks down. and not your usual run-of-the-mill mm. sort of. Hey, we could send a fruit basket to the royal couple. Oh, that's good. And have the baby. And with <laughs> some stuff, they wouldn't know what any of this stuff is. You've got, I mean, I, exotics is is not is not a stretch to no, use, to use no. that phrase. What do we have here that's 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 not grown well locally we, or we, uh, you, uh, many things? I mean, if you look at what's in the salad day, we've got dragon fruit from Vietnam, mm -hmm. uh, Brazil papayas right here out of Brazil. Uh, some items out of California, though, um, the uh, champagne grapes. And then if you They're come so over tiny. here. They look like little babies. Oop, you have cherimoya. Cherimoya. Oh, yeah, that's that where the, the original, the uh, flavor tutti frutti is where the uh, flavor tutti frutti comes really? out of. Yeah. Yes, sir. I had no idea. Wow. And so, you know, we've got, uh, if you look, we've got different, different types of coconuts, three different types of coconuts. Jackfruit, Jack becoming fruit. very popular. <laughs> a lot of conversation about this so far this morning. This morning, yeah, exactly. Well, I, I've seen. Uh, did we have Jack? Somebody mentioned jackfruit before, and we were looking it up on they YouTube. They did. It, yes. Watching, I guess, pro watching someone process a jackfruit. It they was took just a machete, like, more or it, less, to it. Yeah, it, I've seen. Crazy. I've seen a butcher shops that had less involvement with uh, proteins than it takes to, to to harvest a jackfruit. It's quite labor intensive. It, it's extremely labor intensive, but. Uh, the, the product tastes great. It, it's starting to bring different flavors into the United States. Mm -hmm. Produce has become extremely popular with the population. You look at why uh, someone chooses a grocery store that they're going to uh, shop at, you know, a lot of the research will tell you that the produce department and the, uh, the items that you find in the produce department are why a customer picks the oh, grocery wow. store. Big decision. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So well, what do, we, what do yeah. we do with some of this? <laughs> well, that's uh, it's pretty, but <laughs> most people have never even seen these fruits, much less the inside of them. So mm -hmm. let's, let's start cutting into them. You'll see here in our fruit salad, we have, like Richard said, some of these exotic fruits from, from Melissa's. We're also using um, Indiana cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Right now, Indiana cantaloupe yeah, is in now, season. Right? Oh, now. yeah, right now. And your watermelons. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This is actually a Woning Farm cantaloupe. The guys okay. are on. I love yeah. those guys. They were so sweet. They were sweet. Bring and, them back sometime. And their, their cantaloupe is, uh, it, it's unbelievable. So right now you can get delicious cantaloupe from yeah. right here in our home state. Now let's cut open this dragon fruit. It's you're gonna so love incredible it. It looking. Like you're cutting into a blowfish. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look at that. Oh, yes. my goodness. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Yes. And the cool thing about dragon fruit, it comes in um, three different flavors. Three different varieties. Three different wow. varieties. Depending on the season. Okay. And right now, this is uh, obviously the white dragon fruit. There is also a pink. Pink. And there's also a magenta. <laughs> now, oh, I want to see the magenta one. I yeah. know. So keep it's your eye out. It's not in season yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you come back when it is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so the way you get this out, you just take your spoon around it. And okay. when I was prepping this last night, the kids were like, oh, it's like a dinosaur egg. And it kind of is. <laughs> it I is. see that. Or a doctor, you said a Dr. A Dr. Seuss, Seuss sort character. of thing. So you just type plop it thing. out, and there mm -hmm. it is. And okay. then you can cut into it. So you could treat it sort of like watermelon in terms of if you wanted to chunk it up, slice it up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Your, What's the consistency? Your dragon fruit ball. Well, like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why don't you try it's, it and see? Uh, okay. it, you know, the seeds are very reminiscent of a kiwi. You know, the texture. Oh, sure. Yep, yep, and yep. right now, mm -hmm. the white has the, it, it, it's the least sweet oh, of wow. the three okay. varieties. No, so it's I kind like of it. just like Not a refreshing, so uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. light mm. fruit. It's um, delicious. And it's very tropical, and, and the texture is what's so great. I love the texture almost, of it yeah, with the seeds. It's almost like a kiwi. Yeah. It's very similar, but yeah. I actually like it a little bit better. So this is another cool one. It's like a, I've seen this in the store here locally before. Yep, this one is a, this one's a little bit more uh, popular than the dragon fruit. That okay. you'll see it in more mainstream stores. Um, and really, it's spiny. Richard was telling me most people use it just for the shell here. Sure. And well, they, why not? They shell it out, and I'll show you what it looks like when you cut into it. Okay. Um, but really, most of our chefs are using it just for presentation. That's oh. a lot of presentation. It though. is. I mean, is it? Is it not really good to eat? No, uh, well, no. It's it, actually, it's really good. It has the it has texture a of a cucumber. Oh. Oh, it's green on okay. the inside. And That's fine. Yeah. You know, you'll see in grocery stores a lot of time, kids will see it and they'll just have to have it. Have it, it yeah. <laughs> and then they get it like, well. <laughs> now what? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So if anyone wants to try it, it's a... It's got some seeds. It's yeah, it does. Seed. Quite a few. 
They're tracer seeds. It's an edible seed. Mm hmm. Kind of reminds tracer me of seed. Well, yeah, it's called a tracer seed. Maybe it's edible. Okay. All right. Find in a seedless okay. watermelon. All right. All right. Is what it reminds me of. Little itty bitty soft seeds. Mm hmm. But it is a member of the melon family. Mm -hmm. Originated in New Zealand. Right now, those are being grown out of Chile. We're bringing them in from Chile. Chile. It's okay. very laid back flavor. It's not. It's like, hey, I'm here. Here's here's what I taste like. It's not overpowering. Do you think or, it kind of tastes like a cucumber? That's I see that. Yeah, that sweet, refreshing sort of thing. Here's the last one we're going to show, and this is certainly, um, papaya is something that you see in many grocery stores, but, um, you know, it, it's not something that, it's still considered an exotic. This is from Brazil, mm. and it's Melissa's produce uh, strawberry papaya. Oh, wow, that's yeah. awesome. We're going to let you do that one up. You said we have the recipe already, right? We're yeah, our website. right here. For the, yeah, for the uh, salad. We're going to so. sample more on the salad, and we're going to get some stuff that's maybe a little less exotic, but no less flavorful coming up. <laughs> exactly. Follow her on Twitter. She's she's hilarious. <laughs> you are entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I love it. She almost threatened me yesterday. <laughs> I did. She's like, wow. Yeah. Coming up, where you can go for a quick get away. Lori Taylor's still hanging out here, uh, the produce mom. We're in the kitchen. Uh, so earlier we talked about all the ex exotic Fruits. Now we're going to talk about a fruit that you're much more familiar with. Casey here from uh, Sage Fruits uh, going to get us up to speed and give us some cool recipes on cherries. Yeah, we're right in the heart of cherry season, mm -hmm. so make sure you enjoy them because, as we all know, Northwest cherry season. That's that's the five states. Yep. Um, go ahead, Casey. What are they? Name them. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and Utah. The okay. majority come out of Washington, and then Oregon, and then the other three have some, but not quite as many as yet as Washington and Oregon. All right. There's yeah. nothing like a Northwest cherry, <laughs> and they're in season now. And sage fruit does a great job with them. And so we're gonna we're gonna first show you how to pit a cherry. Now, you know, I've been on here before, and I've talked about how okay, I get, get that somewhat you. annoyed with like all Tracing? these little gimmicks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a right. cherry pitter is not one of the kitchen tools I'm annoyed with. A cherry pitter is something that if you like cherries, go ahead and make the investment. You simply put your cherry in there and out comes the pit. So, oh, that's awesome. Isn't that so convenient? Well, because I couldn't, I mean, how else would you do it besides putting it in your mouth? Oh, there's so point, many ways. People take uh, paper clips. Paper clips and, and they, they take chopsticks. Uh, <laughs> really? They take a chopstick on top of a, they put the cherry on top of a soda can, put a mm -hmm. chopstick through it. Isn't that great? Yeah, just get the pitter. Well, where can you get one of these? Anywhere where they sell, like, you know, kitchen stuff. Hardware? Yeah. Hardware? Yeah, <laughs> anything like that. That is so fun. Okay, so after we pit all these cherries. Well, and, and we have more. a nice recipe, and this will be available on theproducemom.com, okay. as well as it'll be linked on the uh, Indie Style website. Now, a lot of people with cherries, they don't realize that you can do uh, great savory dishes with them too. They're super sweet, but mm -hmm. there's so much more you can do with them than make a cherry pie. So uh, cherry pies are great, but... Which is pretty much what we do in my house. <laughs> yeah. That's... You can do so much more. The limit more. of our scope. Okay. Yeah. So this is an example of one of my favorite Ooh. savory dishes. Something that we actually came up for, special for this show today. And it includes uh, cherries. So you just chop up your cherries after you pit them. It's pretty, uh, it is a little labor intensive to chop your cherries. You can put them in a food processor, but I'm kind of particular with my chop and I like it to be uniform. You like a rustic uniform. kind yeah. of Yeah, so cherries, a little bit of onion. Okay. Balsamic vinegar, go ahead and get a good one because it's a big part of the flavor profile. But a little bit goes a long way, right? True, so that's, true. You know. Crispy bacon. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Is that like, can I try it? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, too late. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then fresh basil. Here's okay. how I do my fresh basil. Put the leaves together, roll them, and then using kitchen shears. Oh, girlfriend, that is a brilliant idea. <laughs> that's the best way to do it. Where have it. you been all my life? This is how you I do it. I eat a lot of basil. Well, that's how you eat it, okay? And then you stir it all together. Now, this in itself is a, it's like a delicious light, you know, it's a cherry salsa, It's almost basically. like a chutney. Yeah, you could put it yeah. on Now, you can add just one to two ounces of cheese and you can get more of like a full-blown dip which is what we've done here i added okay. just two ounces of goat cheese for the entire part and, and goat cheese is a real good choice because it almost melts onto the cherries so go ahead and let's so did you heat it up no okay you know how i am <laughs> less stuff's the better all right, i was just all joking right. i was like cheers. wait a second all right yeah. cheers well, hold on before i put this whole thing in my mouth which um going to. Well, you're in town for, what, what is it, this, this big convention? The Indie Fruit Food Show, yes. 
We so how's it going so far? I mean, you, pretty exciting? I just got in, so. So she doesn't know. She got in yeah. last night at midnight. Right? So Tonight's our that. big event. We yeah. have 96 of our uh, valued vendor partners are in town exhibiting, and wow. it's open to our retail customers because okay. Indy Fruit sells to grocery stores. So we invite all of them in, and uh, they, you know, it's wonderful. With thanks to people. I mean, Casey flew in all the way from Yakima, Washington, to be it's here. It's a long haul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, she's just one of the many. Uh, you know, Melissa's produce from the first segment. Another great example of. Yeah. companies that are traveling in to support what we're doing at Indie Fruit, support the Produce Mom, and show all of our valued customers what kind of products we have to offer. So tonight's a wonderful event. And, That's uh, so cool. Yeah, and, yeah and, and going on. it happens once a year, mm -hmm. and you can come if you'd like to come. I could? Yeah, you can. It's, it's, uh, it's an exclusive event to, oh, well. to retailers and whatnot, but oh, you my count. Man. You got to yeah. have dragon fruit there. And dragon some... fruit, yeah. <laughs> and that furry nut thing I ate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a chance. That'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, and you know how it goes. We're going to put all these uh, great recipes on IndieStyle.tv after the show. Uh, and cherry season, not a long season. So what are we looking at? How long are we going to be able to get them? There might be a couple more weeks. Our season's just a little bit shorter this year than normal. Okay. Due to some, some weather issues. Mother Nature <laughs> doesn't always cooperate. She doesn't do what we want her to all the time. No, so, not all the time. So um, they, they should be available for a couple more weeks, and then we'll be into apples. Ah, that'll we'll be the next best in, thing, in August. Huh? Yep. Okay, yep. sounds good. Well, guys, of course, again, we're going to put all that on IndieStyle.tv. Coming up, we're going to get another sample from the finger, finger style guitar competition. <laughs> what is it? Well, I was thinking like fingerling potatoes or something. That's <laughs> it.